This is Building Faith at Home, the video series for parents, grandparents, guardians, and people of influence in the lives of the children and youth at St. Andrews. Can you recall your parents' or your grandparents' activities? I'm talking about their everyday tasks, their hobbies, the sports they played, the teams they cheered for, or their extracurricular activities just in general. Today, do you share the same tasks? Do you play the same sports, cheer for the same team, participate in the same hobbies, or are you involved in the same extracurricular events? It's not surprising if you find there is a similarity. We often share the interests and activities of influential people who were a part of our lives when we were growing up. It's why I drive GM cars, cheer for the Argos, have a love for power tools, and a relationship with Christ. Today, I want to inspire you to be a person of influence in the lives of our children and youth specifically when it comes to reading scripture with your children, grandchildren, or teens. Reading the Bible individually and engaging with scripture as a family is a foundational piece to building faith at home. Telling people around us to read your Bible has less of an impact if no one sees us reading the Bible. So you can impress the importance of reading scripture by simply reading your Bible and placing it in a prominent place in your home. Perhaps you'll place your Bible in that sacred space we talked about so many weeks ago. If you're not accustomed to reading the Bible on a regular basis, now is an excellent time to start. Select a time that works for your family's rhythm and commit to reading a little bit each day. Committing to reading from the Bible each day at the same time helps us and our children dive into the stories and truth of Scripture. Over time, this individual or family reading will help everyone develop a sense of anticipation, something to look forward to, as a deeper appreciation for God's word grows. At the end of every passage that you read, ask questions, even if you read the passage alone. You could ask things like, what felt familiar in that passage? What felt new? How does what I just read relate to my experience at school, at work, or with my friends? Was this a verse or was there a verse that I would like to remember? Share your thoughts and insights because it helps our children and youth see that the Bible is authentic and it's a part of our daily life. Small changes can have a big impact now and in the future. So until next week, your family is unique and so is your family's faith-building experience.